Good morning. Is I it like can, uh, can you all hear me? Yes. Okay. Om Shanti, good morning. And I would like to wish you all a very happy new year. And uh, let us hear today about Dada's Avyak Murli, uh, which is the revised Murli of 19th April 1971. And this is a wonderful Murli where Bab Dada is inaugurating uh, the Bhatti of Kumars. And Baba explained or defined what renunciation, tapasya, and services. And also uh, helped us understand how to become an embodiment full of knowledge and full of all virtues and explain what renunciation, tapasya, and services, and how to use all of this together and uh, make our stage elevated. So let us hear Bhattada's versions as it is. I'll just share the screen quickly. So the definition of renunciation, tapasya, and service. Today, Baba has been called to inaugurate the Bhatti. You have come to this Bhatti to become an embodiment of the imbibing of all virtues and an embodiment of the full knowledge. For this, you must pay attention to three things, three main things. What are these things? Uh, these things through which you can become an embodiment of the full knowledge and an image of all virtues. The essence of the entire knowledge is merged in these three words. What are these words? So one is tyag, that is renunciation. The second is tapasya, intense meditation. And the third is seva, service. So tyag, tapasya, and seva. To become an embodiment of the imbibing of these three words means to become an embodiment of the full knowledge and an embodiment of all virtues. So once we have all these three things, and once we are an embodiment full of knowledge and all of the virtues, okay? So these three things, three words are very, very important for us, for our Brahman life. So what renunciation is, Baba is explaining. What is renunciation? Constantly to have the attitude of renunciation, to be an image of tapasya, and to serve every soul at every second and through every thought. You have come to the Bhatti to learn this. In fact, you know about Tyag and Tapasya. So what have you come to do now? Someone said to put it into practice. Although you know about it, you have now come here to make your following equal to your knowing, knowing it. So at present, there is a difference between your knowing about it and your following it. You have come to the Bhatti to finish this difference. You have come to become such images of tapasya and renunciation that the attraction of the power of your renunciation and tapasya is visible practically from a distance. Just as the light and heat of a fire is visible or experienced from a distance, in the same way, the sparkle of your tapasya and your renunciation should attract others from a distance. Renunciation and tapasya should be visible, visible practically in your every action. Only then will you be able to receive success in service. So whoever sees you should actually see it 
in your practical form by simply being a server and doing service you're not able to attain the success you wish however together with being a server if you are also an image of renunciation and tapasya the practical fruit of service is visible so you are very good servers but at the at the time of doing service do not forget renunciation and tapasya so renunciation of what renunciation of all you know uh the materialistic things renunciation of everything from our intellect you know not to even have a a thought of you know uh i need this or you know i want this so you know tyag of everything okay you don't have to have any any such thought which is actually bringing my stage down or i remember something so baba said that if i you know if i'm wearing white clothes which means i really don't need anything of this whole old world so by having all the three at the same time you will have to labor less and yet receive greater attainment you will use less time and receive greater success so you must keep all these three together practice this very well before you go you should be powerful and successful to the same extent that you are knowledgeful so powerful successful and knowledgeful the visible sign of those who are knowledgeful is that they are each and every word is powerful and that their every action is successful if both these results are visible to a very small extent you should understand that you have to become knowledgeful even those who receive incomplete knowledge from other souls have the experience of a temporary attainment of success so you know so you now have to experience the visible attainment of the elevated knowledge do not think that you will receive the attainment from this knowledge in the future no because of the attainment of knowledge at the present time you experience success in your personal effort and in service you can know about the knowledge you have on the basis of the success you receive okay you can know about the knowledge you have on the basis of the success of success you receive so you have to you have come to the bhatti to check this and to have verified the extent to which you have become knowledgeful none of your old thoughts or old sanskars should be visible now even in yesterday's murli baba said the same thing uh, so very important point to remember none of your old thoughts or old sanskars should be now visible you have to learn about renunciation to this extent my old birth has finished so my old sanskars are all should it should be finished now so if it is my old sanskars if it is reflecting in my action or in my karma somewhere then i really need to check this and remind myself again and again that i am a brahman soul and my brahman sanskars are different and my old sanskars is like property of ravan and it does not belong to me anymore so you have to learn about renunciation to this extent nothing except the form of the soul should be visible from your forehead very beautiful as we are hearing this or as i'm reading this we should actually feel it nothing except the form of the soul should be visible from your forehead that is the awareness in the intellect and in your vision nothing else should enter your consciousness nothing else should enter your consciousness you have to become such constant 
tapasvis. No matter what type of sanskar or nature a soul may have, whether rajoguni or tamoguni, whether he is influenced by nature or sanskars, even if he is a test for you in your effort, you must always have thought and feelings of service, that is, of bringing benefit to every soul. You must become servers, that is, benefactors for all souls in this way. So now, do you understand what kind of pronunciation you have to learn? What kind of tapasya you have to learn? And to what extent you have to do service? Experience the depth of this. So today's homework Baba is giving. So now we know what renunciation is, what tapasya is, and to what extent we have to do the service. Baba wants to experience the depth of this. Only those who have the fruit of knowledge and dharna attached to them can be successful in their every effort. At present, the Brahma Kumars are very well known by everyone. People know from a distance when someone is a Brahma Kumar. Now, together with being a Brahma Kumar, you should be seen as a Tapasvi Kumar from a distance. You must become like this before you go from here. That will only be possible when you experience the stages of churning knowledge and being lost in that. So Baba, is, Baba said, look, everyone knows that you are a Brahma Kumar, but everyone should see that you are a Tapasvi Kumar. So just as the eyes, features and behavior of those who are in great cross intoxication reveal that they are in that intoxication. In the same way, godly intoxication and the intoxication of becoming Narayan should be visible from your eyes and behavior. So Baba Kate wo nasha hona chahiye. That intoxication should be there. Like, you know, if people uh, who are addicted to something and they have that intoxication in the similar way Baba wants us to see, you know, show that Narayani nasha through our behavior. Your face should give your introduction. Just as when you go to meet people, they give you their card to introduce them, th themselves. In the same way, your face should carry out the task of introduction card. Do you understand? Now, you must not keep the form of incognito dharana. Many think that knowledge is incognito. The father is incognito. And so, dharana is incognito. Knowledge is incognito. The father is incognito, but the attainment of dharna, the attainment of the dharna through them cannot be incognito. Only when you show your dharna and the attainment you receive in a visible way will there be glorification. Kumars have one specific sanskar which becomes an obstacle in their effort. What is that? Kumars have the sanskar of keeping their sansk sanskars aside in order to fulfill their desires. Just as they put pocket, uh, pocket money aside, just as the kingdoms of kings no longer exist, but they still do not let go of their privy purse. In the same way, no matter how much they finish their sanskars, they still definitely keep something or other aside in the same way that pocket money is kept aside. So something is still hidden, you know, some or the other sanskars are kept aside. So this is the main sanskar of hiding. Here in this patti, you know about all these things. You even imbibe the courage to move along within the gathering. But even then, Maya in the form of the privy purse still remains somewhere or the other in a corner. 
Do you understand? So you must renounce all this in this patti before you go. Do not think that you have to become perfect at the end. And so a little will still remain. No. Renunciation means renunciation. Do not keep even the slightest sanskars within yourself like pocket money. Do you understand? If there are sans any sanskars remaining, those few sanskars will deceive you. Therefore, you must completely finish off all the old property before you go. You must not keep it hidden away. Do you understand? So Baba is explaining everything and again and again confirming if you really understood all that Baba is sharing. Achha, this is a group of Kumars. Now, you have to become a Tapasvi Kumar group. The speciality that should be visible to every one of this group is that the Tapasvi Kumars have to come have come from the land of Tapasya. Do you understand? Each one of you should be visible as one who is wearing a crown of light. You will wear a crown in the future. But before you go from this party, you must become one who is wearing a crown of light. You automatically receive a crown of the responsibility of service together with this crown. Therefore, the main attention you have to pay is to be wearing a crown of light. Do you understand? Just as Tapasvis always sit on a special seat, in the same way, you must remain seated on the seat of your constant, stable stage. Do not let go of the seat. Only then will you receive the throne of the kingdom. Make such effort that as soon as others see you, the sound emerges from them. What sound? These Kumars have come having become Tapasvi Kumars. The renunciation of body consciousness and the tapasya of being soul conscious should be visible in a practical form from every physical organ because the task of the stop establishment of Father Brahma is continuing anyway and the task of godly sustenance is also continuing. Now, at the end, the task that has to be carried out through tapasya is to burn your sins and to burn the tamoguni nature of all souls and the tamoguni quality of the elements of nature. Now, do you understand for which task it is now the time? So, it is to burn our own sins, burn tamoguni nature of all souls and also the tamoguni quality of all the elements of nature. So it is the time to burn away tamoguni nature through doing tapasya. Just as in your pictures, the form of Shankar is shown as the destroyer, which is the tapasvi form. In the same way, stabilize yourself in a constant, stable stage and show your tapasvi form in a practical way. Do you understand? what you have to learn and what you have to become and how you have to become that. For this, what main slogan will this Kumar group keep in front of them through which they can attain success? With truth and cleanliness, we will clean the world of all vice. When you clean the world, it should have already been cleaned cleaned away from within yourself. So unless we are clean, we cannot clean you know, things around or the whole world. 
So only then you can clean it away from the world. So by remembering this slogan, by becoming an image of tapasya, you will become an embodiment of success. Do you understand? And then Baba said, Acha. So let us give a lot of love and remembrance to our beloved Bab Dada. We'll sit in silence for a minute. Shanti. So this Murli, Baba explained what is renunciation, what is tapasya, and service. So let us share our points that you have liked, that you remember, or your sharing. Om Shanti, brother. Om Shanti. Uh, today is Murli, uh, where, where Baba uh, has mentioned about uh, the nature of, uh, of keeping uh, some of the old sanskars as pocket money, which is compared to privy purse. And uh, so here is Baba, uh, uh, is Baba uh, pointing towards um, mixing uh, manmat with Srimat and consciously, uh, consciously doing it uh, as uh, for individuals' uh, convenience, or is uh, Baba trying to tell that probably you are not uh, using your third eye with attention? you sometimes close your third eye and uh, get swayed uh, with Maya. And uh, what exactly is he pointing out to? Like maybe, uh, for example, if I have anger in me, uh, I say, or if I do not like a certain person because of a particular uh, karmic equation. So I say that I'm good with all the others, but for this person, I can't do it. So is it like that? What is exactly Baba trying to point out? to which sanskars that person keeps as a uh, pocket money um, shanti. Um, shanti a very good question uh, would anyone like to share from the group what was your understanding if anyone would like to share and then maybe i can add to what your sharing is So most of the times, like uh, now it, it all, it is, everyone has got, you know, different sanskars, like we all know, every soul is unique, every soul has been through, uh, you know, almost, I mean, in number of births, okay, it could differ for every soul. 
So everyone has their own sanskars, own habits, own personalities. So uh, everyone's nature is different. Everyone's way of dealing with uh, you know, different souls in different situations can be different. So maybe for me, it is different. For someone else, it is different. For you, it is different. And uh, uh, there could be different sanskars. Maybe I have a habit of maybe not talking too much or maybe in different situations, I can behave differently, right? Or it could be of hiding things, you know, uh, or it could be of not, you know, uh, maybe I think something and I show something else. So it could be maybe... Uh, not very specific i can talk about in terms of like uh, what are the sanskars that we hide but it could be more uh, very closely connected with our uh, weaknesses which are our vices especially so maybe that could be like very deep rooted sanskars for example especially for kumars and kumaris like where baba has always i mean it is for all brahmins basically but um, are you, you know, uh, attached or attracted to someone? Maybe if I see someone, what are the thoughts, you know, going on inside? What, what is the first thought that comes to my mind? Is it pure or impure? Am I becoming body consciousness or am I soul consciousness still? So that is something that maybe we don't talk about it very openly or we don't share it with, it, with our, anyone. So we know what it is. So that is where Baba wants us to bring that whole change, the transformation. That you have to be, you know, soul consciousness. That is number one. Like Baba mentioned today also that, you know, you should see that sparkling light in the center of your forehead. And uh, everyone should see that. You have to be in that awareness. And uh, that is where, how we can be, you know, knowledgeful, powerful. That is the consciousness. That is the awareness. So this could be like one thing, especially when we're talking about Kumars or Kumaris. So this um, body consciousness, which is pulling us down constantly. So I have to be in that soul consciousness state. So this could be like one example of one sanskar. And there could be like other vices also, where maybe uh, anger is another one, where you try to control your anger, you don't show it off, but still there is a trace, you know, inside, or there is a fire burning inside. Uh, where you are not showing it, but still, you know, there are a lot of thoughts, you know, you are uh, bothered with constantly. So this could be like another sanskar. So uh, like different vices, maybe different thoughts that we constantly have, which we may or may not show, or which people may or may not know. I mean, if anyone would like to add anything else to it, I mean, feel free to share. Raki then. Yeah, it is a, a good perception to look at it, a good thought. Uh, 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 the way that you mentioned, uh, the very moment that I differentiate between my thoughts for two different souls is where I feel I should catch myself because that is the point I'm coming into body consciousness. And any thought, for whatever reason it could be, if it's an impure thought, then that's where I need to catch myself and transform. It's my sanskar that I should focus on then looking at anybody else's sanskar. That's how I would see it. Thank you. Any other points that... Uh... I think, uh, brother, one should also see the context with which Baba has made this. He speaks about privy purse. Mm -hmm. See, so when Baba is connected it to something, there has to be a little simply. So, what was the privy purse? Where, why? It, it's a kind of income which was given by the uh, government to because uh, he they wanted all these kings to integrate with them, so it was given. So it's a kind of uh, telling them to come in and then it was given. So when Baba says, just like the privy purse these Kumars used to keep, that's some scar. Now, because I know of a brother 
who used to always give away whenever he used to get a salary he used to just go to the dadis and give it to them so i asked him tomorrow suppose your mother is sick and you need to take care he said i belong to baba i have given him if my mother has to be taken care i will get one so i think like that baba will give privy purses to these kumars to take care air whenever it's there it's needed so that consciousness that i have given this pocket money is something secretly keeping not you know a thing of hiding baba is saying that only that concept of hiding things that's the only one thing which i feel baba is mentioning about hiding because if you start hiding this you will start hiding many other things uh, of not telling baba your pockets will bulge out i think uh, that may be the concept oh, wonderful i mean uh, very well explained uh, i mean as i said like earlier also it could be like like different ways or different uh, you know uh, perspectives that we could have for this one thing uh, what baba mentioned so Uh, anything else from today's Murli? Om uh, Shanti, uh, brother. Um, I'd like to point what Papa said about uh, uh, <clears throat> the uh, dharana uh, should not be incognito. Knowledge is incognito and father is also incognito, but this dharana should not be incognito. So it should be visible. So what dharana... Uh, that we have, it should be visible, especially when we come in uh, uh, karma field. Uh, it has to, um, it has to reveal, um, you know, something uh, different from others. Our quality or uh, the way we talk, the way we interact with others. So, uh, it has to be visible. That's what Papa says today in this movie. Om Shanti. And just to uh, comment or add on to what uh, that old uh, Sanskar and taught renunciation, right? So I think it is something that we have to check ourselves, like brother, you mentioned uh, old Sanskar and old thought. So uh, it's going to be different uh, uh, between people to people. I, I, I believe that because... Um, I only would know what are my old sanskars which I have to transform, what are my old thoughts that I'm still carrying, uh, which I have to work on. So it's it's going to be different uh, for others. Uh, and Baba is also giving the direction how we can transform. Uh, and uh, uh, we can also check how much I have transformed um, by looking back, if I keep a chart or if I uh, practice with uh, uh, some points um, at least for a month or at least for six months and then we look back we can uh, we can really understand if I made some practice or not uh, again it was um, person to person will only understand Om Shanti Om Shanti uh, Om Shanti uh, I, uh, this point touched me that your face uh, should be your ID card, your visiting card or the introduction. Because face is the uh, uh, symbolic of the mind. And the mind, if, it, if mind is in intoxication uh, and, the, and visualizing the images of the future form, then the face itself uh, will uh, give that reflection of what the soul is thinking through the mind. So that uh, point is very intoxicating that we have, Baba expects us to uh, have our faces giving introduction about the future form as well as whose children we are, the Almighty. What does his, you know, that Almighty's introduction should be through our face. And that will happen when we constantly churn, do the churning about Baba's Murli, the points, every moment, and check 
and every thought be aligned with the murli uh, om shanti om shanti brother just to add on my this i really love this murli and i would like to dedicate this murli to all the wonderful kumars with whom i have really done seva in this journey in this in this journey lovely i know the way baba is glorifying them i can visualize them when baba calls them brahma kumar tapasya kumar seva kumar what a beautiful crown he places on them and what what, what a lovely way he has really glorified them i think if this murli is read by any kumar what an intoxication they will get to know what are they going to become in the future what they can reveal to the world secondly i like the word tapasya because i came to the yagya in the tapasya year so the deep meaning of tapasya the intensity where they say you just give 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 you take nothing tapasya just gives so that intensity that volcanic that kind of yoga when they say aur kuch nahi chahiye mujhe sab kuch mila hai that word tapasya in the year 1992 i remember so this takes me back down memory lane of really what is tapasya of what is renunciate and today when baba has put the crown on kumars it really gives me a nostalgic memory of my childhood days om shanti another aspect uh, which baba highlighted is the triangle of the tyag tapasya and seva earlier i used to think that seva one can straight away do the seva uh, uh but baba has said that ki in order to be successful in seva the tyag and tapasya are very important you know sides of that triangle without these two the seva also is not uh, i mean that completeness will not be there the success will not be there another aspect is that uh, the knowledgeful depends knowledgeful when put in the practical form gives the uh, two forms powerful and successful so power and success are the practical forms of the being knowledgeful and that point also is uh, very something which uh, can be put in more journey that until is i use my power, knowledge into day to day practical form and for the transformation then it is not converted into power once it is into power automatically that power is used i am utilizing it in transformation and then that's what is called a success om shanti om shanti bhai ji and divine family i would like to say happy new year to each one of you and your loving families today and a big thank you for your consistent support and inspiration in order to become like baba for today point for today lesson from renunciation point of view i'm saying goodbye to my old world old sanskar old friendship with ravan old wastes and i'm saying welcome hello to new world new friendship with baba new experience with constant companionship in combined form my new lifestyle new life goals new effort new eyes new vision as i'm celebrating my 1 year old birthday in 57 year old body along with celebrating this new year 2023 thank you Om Shanti. Om Shanti. Good morning. It all boils down to again changing oneself. The last few lines Baba mentioned that to change the weaknesses or the poor elements in the world, 
you will have to first burn down the samskars within you you have to be the change you want to see in the world so i would like to take it thank you om shanti om shanti brother uh, eyes are most uh, deceiving among the, all the sense organs and uh, constant uh, yoga and baba's love can uh, make us victory over them so how can we overcome that attraction uh, one of the sister today mentioned uh, just first seeing uh, anybody what is the thought we have running over them whether it is a pure or impure so that means a lot so initially when i check with myself i feel uh, body conscious only later only i can able to get that uh, soul uh, consciousness so what are the other uh, tips that can help us to make a success over the tie hmm. so uh, very uh, beautiful and very interesting question which is i mean the answer to this question baba is giving us in regular the daily sakar mudli also and even in avet murli is like today also baba mentioned to see that sparkling star in the center of your forehead uh, you know always wear the crown of light so baba has you know um, given us a task to be soul consciousness and to see everyone as a soul that sparkling star in the center of forehead so when i i have to first have that thought that i am a soul and whenever i'm seeing someone i have to remind myself that i'm not i'm not seeing the body but i'm seeing the soul and where is the soul it is residing in the center of the forehead so this practice um, i was recently i heard this class suraj bhai's class and he uh, gave a very beautiful uh, uh, practice you know like you can do it every day on day 1 you just practice this throughout the day that i am a soul i am a soul i am a soul whatever you're doing let it be like thousand times you remind yourself that i am a soul on day 2 uh, with uh, one uh, you know point of self respect like for example i am a peaceful soul okay and with uh, seeing yourself as a soul so first day 1 is like you just say it like mantra that you chat okay day 2 is like you uh, uh, you know uh, see yourself as a soul and see others as a soul okay so this is like second day practice third day with a point of self respect like i am a peaceful soul and with that feeling that you say that i am a soul and day 4 is like you know uh, uh, taking a pause feeling it seeing yourself as a soul and sitting in, on the seat of uh, the self respect or that is a swamar so that is how you can practice this uh, in your day to day routine so it becomes easy for us to be soul consciousness to remind and having that thought that i am a soul and also seeing a soul uh, it can come into practice now this is one way second is like again to writing you know uh, uh, writing also helps so you can write down uh, maybe whatever number of times you wish and with that feeling that i am a soul or i am a pure soul thank you to the very clear mm-hmm. so today's murli uh, it was uh, a wonderful you know dose of knowledge that baba gives us and early morning when we inject these powerful points it will actually come into a practice so let us sit back and let us just one point yes satyata swachchata safalta ye the eh ge the sister would you please repeat kindly baba gave a slogan for the kumars satyata swachchata safalta Hmm. English, please. Truth, I don't know uh, truth, uh, Hindi. Truth and cleanliness 
if you should have to clean to be successful. Thank you, Ji. Okay. So by remembering this slogan, Baba said that you can become an image of tapasya and then you'll become an embodiment of success. So that was the last thing that Baba said today. So let us sit back. Relaxed and comfortable. Starting this beautiful day. Reminding all these powerful points. And I see myself as a soul sitting in the center of my forehead. An embodiment of renunciation, tapasya, and service. Spreading this light of purity which is cleaning all my sins and I see this light radiating in all directions. The entire world to all the souls around, cleaning their sins, making them pure, powerful. And slowly, slowly this light reaches all the five elements of nature. And making it pure and perfect for the new world to arrive. I'm light, I'm pure, I'm perfect. And bright. Shiv Baba is my companion, and I am in his company. Let us look at ourselves. Today, in my entire journey, in each and every activity, every action, I merged with Baba. I'm in company of the Divine. And I see everything as light. Every soul, every body, everything around as light. I'm a double light angel. Spreading the light of peace, love, power, Om Shanti.
ओम शांति थैंक यू दत्ता भाई थैंक यू डिवाइन फैमिली सी यू टुमारो एट 5 एम टिल दैट टाइम हैव अ नाइस डे ओम शांति थैंक यू